Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickham. I am sitting here at Texas Inpatient Consultants with Dr. Dominic Shrestha and Dr. Apara, along with Charu Dixit, who is the office manager and one of the students. Uh, today, we are going to be talking about uh, working in a doctor's office as an intern. And uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Dominic Shrestha is going to talk about uh, the students working as interns and we have one of the students here uh, from Clemens and he's going to talk about his experience. After that, I'm going to talk about uh, the the business co-op program that is uh, sponsored by the Fort Bend Independent School District uh, from all the high schools across the Fort Bend area where the senior students can work half day in the morning and half day in the various uh, business entities uh, for the entire nine months and how they can get credit and experience it. So uh, I would like to welcome Dominic Shrestha and uh, Charu Dixit. Welcome to Triple N Media. Uh, Dominic, maybe you can uh, start off by giving us a little bit about your background, uh, Texas Inpatient Consultants, and about uh, the student uh, internship program that you have. <laughs> yeah, Nick, uh, thank you, Nick. Uh... And uh, thank you for bringing us on. Uh, your uh, radio show is amazing. And uh, we're really privileged, uh, myself, Charu, the students, and uh, Texas and Patient Consultants. We really thank you for uh, putting us on. Well, uh, Texas and Patient Consultants has been in practice now for 21 years. Uh, we started in the year uh, 20, uh, sorry, 2000, so it's easy. Um, I think you uh, know we all started way back uh, in Southwest Memorial. Uh, back then, that was the big, big hospital, 650-bedded hospital. And, um, you know, that was where the center of action was. Um, well, and we are hospitalists, myself, Dr. Opara. Um, we basically do six hospitals, uh, three acutes and three what we call rehab hospitals. We also do about uh, 10 skilled nursing facilities. We both are board certified geriatricians. We also are board certified hospice and palliative physicians. And uh, so we take care of a lot of pain management. We uh, specialize in that in this clinic we uh, basically have about say 2,500 to 3,000 patients mm -hmm. in this practice. Um, we take a lot of um, students. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done this now for about 18 of the 21 years. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and uh, we've been doing it pro bono, not a dime. We um, always want to give back to the community. We were once students, so we believe we want to always help students. I think uh, our thing about having students is, um, as Meher will tell you, is actually have them do things mm -hmm. with patients, make them feel like clinicians, and our thing about the Texas Inpatient Consultants, as the name says, you have to feel like a consultant. You have to have a connection. You have to have the compassion. And you have to be the clinician, the 3C company, we call it. Yes. So that is where I will stop and uh, tell you that we have had yeah. the pleasure of having at least 800 plus mm. students in these years. Some of them went on to become doctors, a lot of them nurse practitioners, PAs, and several of them are still in the process in schools and uh, in other formation years. Okay, let me ask you, Dominic, where are these students coming from? What different backgrounds? Right. So I think um, I think as far as uh, are you talking about uh, the the school years? Are you talking yeah, about ethnic? Some, the summer internship that you're having? 
where are the yes. students coming from yes i think as far as the schools they're coming from yeah i believe uh, most of them are coming from around this area mm -hmm. in the clements yeah um i believe another one is kempner mm -hmm. another one is um austin i believe we have some students from these three schools yeah um right now and i believe um um we've had um students from um uh, richmond mm -hmm. yeah we've got um uh, we've had students from richmond okay that's great uh, yeah. students ladies yes. and gentlemen we are talking about uh, high school students uh internships and externships. Uh, I'm Dr. Nikam. I'm with uh, Dr. Dominic Shrestha. This is uh, Texas Inpatient Consultants uh, Office. Uh, now we're going to turn to one of the students who just graduated. Congratulations to Meher. And uh, could you introduce yourself and tell us about your experience here as an intern at the Texas Inpatient Consultants? So uh, thank you for having me on. Uh, my name is Mihir. I've been with Texas Inpatient Consultants for around eight months now. And uh, for experience, as Dr. Shrestha was saying earlier, they really pride themselves on making sure their volunteers feel like they've worked there. You know, it's not like a normal volunteering experience where you only can do certain minor tasks. They trust their volunteers to work on advanced tasks, get involved with the patients, do most of the work that has to be done for an office to run properly. And so that's what makes this experience really great and all is you get lots of practice. You feel what it's like to be in a doctor's office every day. So how, how would you compare yourself before you started to what you are today in terms of having some knowledge about the medical field? Oh, the knowledge has completely been increased exponentially. Uh, coming into this, I really didn't know much at all. Past volunteering experiences hadn't really given me any of that information. It had consisted of more uh, minor tasks, but now I would know how to fax to other doctors, print out prescriptions, talk with patients about when they're coming, all sorts of things that can really help make a doctor's office run properly. So after eight months of experience, uh, would you say you're still interested in the field of medicine or uh, has that uh, opinion changed? Um, no, I'm definitely still interested in medicine. This experience has only uh, furthered my desire to become in a medical position. Just seeing how an office runs, how it can be run, the uh, satisfaction of having your work be done correctly and seeing the results be displayed it definitely made me want to continue down the medical field. So if, if there's a, like a high school uh, junior or senior who is watching this program, uh, what message do you have for the student as far as working in a medical field, like in a outpatient clinic set up like Dr. Dominic Shrestha's uh, clinic? Um, I would tell them to definitely apply. Uh, the knowledge, the experience that you gain here is just on, it's unmeasurable what you will learn here. It will help you down the line. It'll give you a boost when you head into sort of medical areas. And so if you're feeling nervous about it, uh, just go for it. These experiences will really help you in the long run. If you had to read books or attend classes and learn all the things that you learned on the, road, on, on the field, how long would it take for you to do that uh, you know, compared to what it took you to learn in eight months? Oh, um, it would probably take much longer. And once again, that's just a result of us being put in the environment, like the situation. Um, it's definitely a different feeling from learning just from books. You know, being in that situation, you're basically forced to learn on the run quicker, be able to adapt. And this will obviously happen much faster than just sitting with the books. Yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, Dr. Dominic Shrestha wanted me to talk about uh the Fort Bend County Business Co-op Program. And as you know, I had a cardiology office at the Methodist Sugarland for almost 20, 25 years. For the last 20 years of my practice, I had students from Clemens, Kepner, and Dallas, all these surrounding high school areas, the seniors who worked in my office, uh, uh, sometimes three, four of them. And the way the business co-op or the, I don't know what terms they use, uh, it is uh, something that you work half a day during the final year in the uh, schools, 
you work half a day in, in the business entities. There are people who go to doctor's offices, dentist's offices, they work in a mall, they go to like steward company or title company or anywhere they can find a job, they can go and get experience. And this is a great way for all the high school seniors uh, who are watching this program to talk to your counselors and, and find out about the business co-op program where you can work half a day in your uh, schools and half a day at any business entity where you can get a job so that you get hands-on experience. Just like uh, Meher said, this is where you're going to be put in the driver's seat. Do you agree, <laughs> Dominic? So they, they are going to be put in the driver's seat. So you're not just sitting there and watching what others are doing, but you are going to be doing. Let me give, for example, in my office, what I used to do. I used to use high school students. I, had, I used to have them enter the patient billing information, insurance information, verify the insurance, prepare claim forms, check patient's vital signs, do their electrocardiograms, and take patient's history and make rounds with me when I'm talking to the patient so they understand how we communicate with the patients and what we tell the patients and then also follow up with the medications and see what medicines we are using for what different kinds of diseases. So you bring in a whole correlation of an entire medical field. And it's a great experience for the high school students. So much so all the high school students who worked in my office, if they stayed in Houston, they continued to work in my office. Some of them work for like six, seven years in my office uh, after they graduated from high school. Uh, in fact, uh, if you just go to the Google and search for uh, uh, Fort Bend ISD business co-op program, there's a whole page where you get all the information, not only for this uh, co-op program, but also for uh, summer internship. And this is also for doctors who know who want to hire students for summer internship. Uh, you can put your name there so that the students can contact you and, and come for interview. So this is a great way for everybody to benefit uh, because I think the students benefit the most because uh, most of the time when I had hired the students, that was their first job in their life. <laughs> can you imagine that's the first job in their life <laughs> besides babysitting? And they had you know, real great experience. We treat them like family and they were given a lot of freedom to make mistakes and learn. And I think that's what makes the great thing. Uh, we have Dr. Apara joined. Uh, hello, Dr. Apara, welcome to Triple N Media. You know, we, I know you have been in the background. We are talking about uh, the internship program and I talked about the business co-op program. So hopefully maybe you all can get students uh, during the school year so that uh, you know, they can get a lot of experience, especially those who are interested in going into the medical field and see what it is like firsthand, like Meher said, you can lead, you can, you cannot learn something like this reading at books. So you tell us uh, about your experience with the students uh, working as interns, <laughs> Dr. Opara. Mm -hmm. You're good. Okay. You're on. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. You're on, go ahead. Uh, Dr. Nikom, thank you very much for the opportunity. And then okay. Dr. Shrestha, thank you for the opportunity. So we've been doing this program for a long time, uh, especially for high school students, high school graduates, before they get into college. And then from time to time, we also get uh, students that are already in college. We assist them in kind of having the foundation in their career opportunities. More especially, you know, those that are very much interested in uh, seeking mm -hmm. uh, medical specialties, you know, opportunities related to uh, medicine mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. those with medical administrative mm -hmm. uh, career opportunities. Basically, mm -hmm. what the office offers them is uh, how to be a role model, how to be representative of whichever organization they find themselves in the future, yeah. how to be a good student, how to prosper in terms of academics, uh, individual capabilities, yes. and uh, interpersonal relationships. We assist them with all that. But in addition to that, we also 
kind of uh, make them yeah. know the basic medical vocabularies. Yes, yes. So that they can be able to communicate with their peers who have also gotten opportunities like this. But most importantly, with the experience that they have here, they are able to make a meaningful decision in terms of choosing their careers. Yeah. So we are happy with the students we have had so far. And uh, we offer them a lot of uh, avenues, you know, a lot of opportunities here. They help us a lot in doing uh, computer, computer yeah. uh, mastering. Uh, they help us with uh, yes. IT <laughs> integration, yes. especially for those of us that are more, more or less uh, not savvy, like the younger generations. Yeah. So bringing them in kind of help us to expand our horizon in terms of the ever-changing uh, IT world. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so we have been joined by another student. Uh, could you identify yourself and tell us uh, what is your experience uh, here at the Texas Inpatient uh, Consultants as a, an intern? <laughs> Uh, my name is Safa Malik. I've been doing this internship just as long as my brother has. Uh, and my role here uh, has been uh, different almost every single day. Um, so when I started this program, they uh, initiated me by uh, walking me through all the basics of a medical office. This is, uh, you know, the structure of how this office works, which is something I've never seen before. I've done multiple programs at Methodist, but they weren't as informative as this one was. Um, so I was able to not only uh, visit patients as I was really anywhere else, but I also got to look at old case files and uh, enter data into uh, their software. I was able to help them out by building this website for them, uh, run their social media uh, on Facebook. I was able to do a lot of stuff and use my expertise uh, to also further my knowledge of the medical field. That's fascinating, Dominic. And we are learning from this uh, young generation about how to use computers. <laughs> yeah, huh? that's right. Uh, Nick, uh, we guys, Opara and I are uh, dinosaurs uh, <laughs> no. in IT. So I can yeah. tell you, we don't we don't want to struggle. So uh, Meher, Sahil, all these guys yeah. becoming very big. So one of the other few other programs that Opar and I really get these guys involved in are the vascular program that we run, very big. Mm -hmm. We do our own vasculars here and mm -hmm. our boys are very, and boys or girls, uh, students get very involved in that. The RPM program, the remote patient monitoring program mm -hmm. uh, where uh, we have uh, the government uh, with all the uh, Medicaid insurances, especially and a few Medicare programs has uh, now uh, allowed these devices for hypertensives and diabetics mm -hmm. to go out into houses. Yes. And um, the monitoring of these patients has helped readmissions of patients to come down significantly. That's like it. uh, it's a 90% 90, 90, 90 cut on readmissions. The other thing is hospice. We are big into hospice. Yeah. Both him and me are medical directors um, and uh, we are big into hospice. Uh, we believe in palliative care. Uh, we believe in end of life uh, care. Um, we believe in comfort um, in the end of life. Um, nursing home, SNFs, uh, yeah. we do take you know, our, our students into the nursing homes um, and uh, yeah, those um, nurse practitioners that are wanting hours um, and of course uh, PAs that want hours um, yeah. towards their you know, clinical rotation, they're welcome to start here. Mm -hmm. Peripheral yeah. hospitals and hospitals, I think, as I told you, we do go. I think they're opening it up slowly to you know, students coming in. Yeah. It's on a hospital to hospital basis, but it is a management decision whether they'll allow students to come along with us, you know, Nick. So I think all in all our clinic, yeah, like the boys were saying, yeah, it's a multi-level um, um, 
And I think every day, I think Sahil said it so well, every day he's given a different task. Yeah. Um, there's no particular week that he can say, okay, I'm going to be doing only one thing. I don't think there's a month when he yeah. was told, okay, this month you're going to be given only one thing. I have one more guest here. She is a colleague. Come on in. Um, please. Amy. Yeah. Amy, please sit down. Amy is one of our uh, physician assistants. She's Hello. my colleague. Hello, Amy. Um, she takes media. care of students too and takes care of patients. Yeah. And she loves to teach. Now she is uh, just on our team. Now she is very IT savvy. <laughs> That's um, but Amy is uh, now trying to do uh, the biggest thing for TIC. Uh, we are going out of paper and uh, going into, um, you know, there's about 18 to 20 years of paper. Yeah. And we are trying to put that all into, uh, I guess, yeah, the EMR. Yeah. And that is what Amy is in charge of. So um, that, that's a big task. Yes. <laughs> Amy is doing that yeah, for that's, us. That's, but that's Amy, what is your experience with uh, TIC as uh, to date? To date? Um, it's been great so far. It's been, what, about three weeks, maybe? Almost a month. Um, the patients are really nice. All the staff is really nice and welcoming for sure. Um, yeah, I like it here. That's great. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you're watching this video, you can go to Fort Bend ISP for uh, internships and for business co-op programs and get more information about uh, how you can find out uh, various businesses and uh, service entities that are available for your uh, internship and also for the school year uh, business co-op programs. Uh, I am Dr. Nick Nickham and thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Nick. Thank you so much. Thank you.